Hello students, how are you? I expect that you will be fine. Today I am going to teach you a very much important chapter named as Determiners. Determiner, by its own caption it is very clear that its function is to determine something or someone. It specify something and sometimes it generalizes something or someone. So the function of determiner is to either generalize or specify noun which comes after it. So it can be said that determiner is a word which is placed before a noun either to specify it or to generalize it. Now, as per classification, determiners have been classified into eight parts. Number one is articles, which is known as A, N and the, in which A and N is indefinite article and the is definite article. For example, if I say he is a boy, then boy is noun here and a is indefinite article and it indicates that the boy is not properly known to us, rather he is a general boy. So indefinite article a has been used before it and it is in the form of a determiner. Similarly, we use an and the. For example, if I say he is the boy who has stood first in the class. Now, boy is now near and article the has been used in order to specify the boy. So, that is definite article as well as determiner because I have defined that it is a word which is placed before a noun to specify it or to generalize it. In this way, the second classification is possessive adjective. For example, we know possessive adjective as my, your, his, our, their. If I say he is my brother, Brother is noun and my is possessive adjective which has been placed before brother and it acts like a determiner. Similarly, the second example may be placed as C is your sister. Sister is noun and your is possessive adjective and ultimately it is determiner. In this way, we can use his, our, their and these examples will stand as positive adjective and ultimately it will be known as determiner. Third classification is demonstrative adjective. Example is this, that, these, those. In order to use demonstrative adjective, we have to be very, very careful and we have to put noun just after these, that, these, those. Then only it will be known as demonstrative adjective because the function of adjective is to classify or signify noun. For example, if we say this book is very costly. This, this book is very costly. Book is noun here. And this is demonstrative adjective. So, this is not simply a demonstrative adjective. Rather, it is also used as determiner. That boy is very intelligent. Boy is noun here. And that is demonstrating the particular boy. So that is not simply demonstrative adjective, rather it has been used as 
determiner. Similarly, these girls are very intelligent. Girls are noun here, and this demonstrative adjective, and it is used as determiner. Those boys are very naughty. Boys are nouns here, and those demonstrative adjective, and hence it is acting as determiner. Fourth classification is distributive adjective. Example is each, every. Each girl will get a prize. Girl is now near, and each has been preceded here in order to market distributive one. And it's not simply distributive adjective; rather, it is determiner also. Every man. Wants to remain happy. Man is noun here, and every is distributive adjective as well as determiner. Number fifth one is adjective of number. Few, a few, the few, and many. Many boys are playing in the field. Boys are noun here, and Many has been added before it to denote adjective of number, and hence many is not simply adjective of number; rather, it is determiner. Few stands for nothing. A few stands for some. The few stands for whatever one has. I have. Given you the few books which I had means I have given you all the books which I had. Books are under the phase of counting phase, and hence it is countable, and it can be said. That when we use few, a few, the few, or many, we use these examples before countable nouns. And these examples, few, a few, the few, many, will stand as adjective of number as well as determiner. Number six, adjective of quantity. Much, little, a little, the little. Little also stands for nothing. A little stands for some. The little means all whatever one possesses. For example, you have a little knowledge based on English. Means you are not skilled in English. You are not learned in English; rather, you have some knowledge in English. And English is known here. So, if we use a little before English, it is adjective of quantity, and ultimately, it is determiner. Indefinite ad adjective. Seventh part is indefinite adjective. Example is here some and any. When we use some before a noun, it doesn't indicate particular number. It doesn't indicate particular quantity. Rather, it indicates indefinite phase of things or people. For example, some students are creating nuisance inside the classroom. A students, noun here, and some has been used. In order to indicate indefinite number of students, so some is indefinite adjective. Ultimately, it is determiner. I don't have any book in English. Any. It denotes indefinite phase of book, indefinite number of book, and. It is under indefinite adjective and ultimately determiner because 
whenever we use any we are using it before a noun i don't have any book book is noun here and hence we use some and any to represent indefinite adjective and ultimately it will be determiner when it will be used before a noun the next most important thing is some is used along with affirmative sentences and any is used along with interrogative and negative sentences for example if i say do you have any book in english it means any is being used to make this sentence interrogative one also you don't have any book in english it means the sentence is negative and any is used here to indicate the number of book or any kind of book so some is used along with affirmative sentences and any is used along with negative as well as interrogative sentences last one is interrogative adjective example is which if i say which book do you like most here book is noun and which is interrogative adjective and it indicates as determiner when which is used before a book it indicates book it classify book it symbolizes the book it specifies the book and acts as a determiner so ultimately we can say that just after knowing the kinds of adjectives except adjective of quality all classification of kinds of adjectives are under determiners besides that one the phrases which denote quantity or number are also considered under the classification of determiners hence we can know what is the use of determiner and where determiners are being used we have to mark the paragraph just start going through the paragraph we have to search or we have to mark where determiners have been used and after that you will have better concept regarding the chapter determiner thanks